My husband is blind and we met on a dating app. Yes. Why did you use a dating app? I think that a lot of people in the blind community can relate to using dating apps in order to meet somebody for romantic reasons. <laughs> because, you know, I, I have very, very limited vision. I have about 10% of my sight. I'm totally night blind. So going out to bars and clubs was just not even an option for me anymore. Yeah. And I certainly wouldn't know who was cute or not. <laughs> <laughs> That's what your wingman is for. Yeah, I suppose so. But then it's so loud in there mm. that I couldn't hear anything either. And I just started to like hate the idea of going out. Besides, I'm like, I'm an introvert. I was much happier sitting at home on my couch, scrolling <laughs> through the dating apps yeah. and making my observations. Makes sense. Uh, and I know people that are uh, fully blind that use dating apps and they use screen readers. However, I have a tiny bit of usable vision, so I was able to um, use the accessibility features on my phone, like larger text and things, to eventually find you. And can we say which dating app we used? We used Grindr. Yes, we met on Grindr. So, Matthew, when you stumbled upon my profile, uh, what did you think? Well, first, like, there's a cutie. So, <laughs> tapped on that photo. <laughs> I thought you were going to say I tapped that. Okay. <laughs> You had your Instagram hooked up to your dating profile. So I went through that and saw that you were into fitness, eating well. Uh, you were an artist, so you were into the arts and you ran a marathon. But the really puzzling thing was that you were blind. You were legally blind. You had retinitis pigmentosa. And so I was very curious how this cutie was doing all these different things and wanted to understand more about your blindness. So I messaged you and started chatting you. I messaged you and started chatting with you. <laughs> chatting, chatting me up. Hitting you up? Yeah, I hit and you I up. I hit you up. Hit me up. Yeah, I hit you he up. He hit me up. Paul, what was it like when you came out to me on the dating <laughs> app as blind? Wait. I knew you were gay. Oh, you did? You yeah. had to come out to me as a blind person. I was so grateful I didn't have to come out to you as gay on a gay dating app called Grinder. Uh, yeah, so I, but I did have to come out uh, as blind because I didn't have that in my profile. Um, although you had already discovered it because I had my Instagram linked up to it. And there I do discuss being blind, but not on directly on Grindr. And so oftentimes I would have to, within the first 10 minutes of chatting with somebody, I would let that slip in there, especially if I thought there was chemistry and I was going to meet the person IRL. I didn't ever want to surprise somebody with my blindness or spring it on them when showing up. And that was because like, I guess a little bit because of the fear of rejection. And also I don't know that that's a, like a cool thing to do. Just no. show up with your cane. I, not a good idea. And be like, forgot to tell you, I have a disability. <laughs> I really do feel like being forthright about that is important to me yeah. at least. And I only speak for myself, but I, I told you about that. Mm -hmm. I came out and I said, hey, listen, I have this rare eye disease. It's called retinitis pigmentosa. It's progressive. I was diagnosed when I was 16 years old. Today, I have less than 10% of my vision left. I, uh, and as soon as you did that, I shut down the app and did not stop responding. I, he totally ghosted me. Yeah, for hours. <laughs> Which was not because he told me he was blind, because I, I, did, I did know that was the case because I'd been stalking his Instagram. But I was waiting. <laughs> you a, were stalking my me. girlfriend arrived, and uh, wait, you have a girlfriend? A friend who was a girl. <laughs> yeah, we went out for dinner. I didn't get back to that app till I was back, like hours later. Oh yeah. And then I felt really bad because I looked and I was like, oh, the last thing he said to me was like, I'm <laughs> I poured, blind. I poured my heart out, and I disappeared. So I sent him a long, lengthy, thoughtful reply, um, asking questions. I quickly Google searched retinitis pigmentosa so that I had a, a, a little basis um, to ask intelligent questions from. I have to admit that that night I went to bed a little sad, but it was a familiar kind of sadness that I think a lot of people in my position who have a disability may have felt before, is like, oh, okay, yet another person who probably can't handle the fact that I have a disability. And I was a little disappointed because this guy seemed especially smart and ridiculously good looking. Uh, yeah, I could tell that he was very handsome, so talented. And um, I was like, ah, oh, that sucks. I really thought maybe this guy could have handled that. And so I woke up the next morning to this long message, apologizing, <laughs> explaining that you'd been out with your friend. I was so totally shocked and elated and appreciative that you were so curious about the disease and had actually done some Google searching. So we did finally agree to meet. It was not immediately. It was like months almost later. two months later. Yeah, because you disappeared. 
You ghosted me. I actually deleted the app a little later, going through some life stuff. We lived in different countries, by the way. I'm, I was in Canada. We were only 30 minutes apart, but I was like, I'm not gonna even entertain. I was in the United States, Washington State. And I did think to myself, I'm not gonna date a guy in another country. And he seems a little too good to be true. And I, even though you had a great response to the news of my blindness, I deleted the app. And then <laughs> two months later, I downloaded it again, as one does. Signed back into the same account because I'd starred you. So you popped back up into my start section. I was like, oh, he's back. I thought I deleted the whole they thing. They all come back. <laughs> I thought I had completely deleted the app. I don't know how. Anyway, obviously I didn't delete it correctly, which turned out to be good because I showed up as your starred. And then Matthew was like, we're going on a date. So we had our first date. Mm -hmm. And it was just this really sweet, special experience. Matthew is a violinist. So I convinced him to come to Canada, play his violin for me, give me a violin lesson. And I said, well, only if you will teach me a painting lesson. So you had the dining table set out with two canvases, all the paints, brushes, water glasses for the paint brushes. <laughs> and you gave me uh, like an hour, two hour painting lesson. Yeah, I mean, because I'm an artist, I'm a visual artist, despite going blind, I, I was a painter at the time. And I packed a bag just in case you invited me to stay, <laughs> which you did, so I stayed the night. Which I was I really quite surprised <laughs> because he did not tell me a duffel bag had been packed. <laughs> Be prepared, boys. Be prepared. <laughs> I was like, you can stay the night, but you probably didn't bring anything. And he's like, pulls out this bag, this overnight bag. I was like, you sly dog. So it was a wonderful first date. And essentially, we never stopped hanging out after that. I, I knew instantly that you were special, that you were gonna be in my life for a while. Well, I mean, I'll be really honest. I wrote in my journal that night and I said, I think I just met my husband. <laughs> and spoiler alert, it turned out to be the case. <laughs> but as things got more serious, did you have any reservations about the fact that I am going fully blind and that I will one day have no vision? Yeah, I did. I mean, I wanted to go into it with some thought. I didn't wanna dismiss it, nor did I want it to absolutely stop me from moving forward. So I had a really good conversation with my dad, who I'm close to and I really trust his, his opinion and his advice. So I called him up and I was like, hey, you know, this guy, I've been telling him about you already. And I said, I, I just have some questions. You know, he's blind, he's gonna eventually be completely blind. What do you think? And he had some really good advice. He said, you know, anybody you get into a relationship with, at some point, something's gonna go wrong with either one of you. You know, One of you might need more care than the other. Uh, one of you might be in an accident, old age, just growing old, like- Things happen. Yeah, things happen, so- And you can't predict it. Yeah. yeah, you can't predict it. So he said, in your case, you're going into it knowing like, oh, okay, your, your partner's gonna lose a sight and need more help around that. And he said, in, in that case, that maybe that's easier or better than if your partner ends up in a wheelchair or has to be taken care of or any number of things that can happen. Growing all together is about caring for each other and taking care of each other's needs as those those life things inevitably occur. Yeah, right. So that was great advice. So I was like, okay. That was it, that's all you needed. Yeah, I just needed to hear from my dad. <laughs> well, thank you, Matthew's dad. <laughs> uh, Who's hopefully not watching this. <laughs> <laughs> no, I hope he is. Uh, because that is really sweet and special. And it's, it's it, you know, you, you later shared that with me. Uh, not immediately, but you did share that with me uh, a few weeks or months later. And I had never thought about it that way. And I think that's really sort of a beautiful thing that your dad presented was that like, just because there is um, one person in the relationship who might need a little extra care in a certain area, doesn't mean you leave that person. Yeah, every relationship is interabled in some form, whether it's interabled emotionally or physically or intellectually. You have to adapt for each other's varying needs. That's really beautifully said. Well, thank you all for watching. Do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you wanna leave us a question, leave it in the comment section below or vote for your favorite question by liking that comment and we may answer it on a future video. Thank you for watching. See you guys next time. See ya.